In this video, we continue our exploration of Spark SQL. We are still working with our example of uh, looking at temperatures, the NOAA temperature data set, and we have gotten to the point where we have these daily temperatures, <clears throat> which are averages for each day, uh, for each station, and we also have the all the stations. And now what I want to do is get not daily averages, but I want to get station averages. So I'll make station temps 2017. And what I have to do is I have to take the daily temps and I need to use the group by method where I can group on uh, the columns that I want. And I want to group it on my station ID. Now group by is a little bit different. If we look at it, it doesn't return a data set or a data frame. It returns a relational grouped data set. And so for this to really be meaningful, um, we need to call another method that's going to put things together. It's going to aggregate data on this. Now that aggregate needs to be passed um, a function or multiple functions. There are different rows. So in org Apache Spark SQL. Let's find the SQL down here. Dot functions. And note that functions is a an object inside of here. We have things like uh, average um, and uh, account and mins and maxes. And this actually has a lot of different functions in here that we can pull from. In this case, all we want to do is take an average. And so we're going to say AVG of our TAVE, our temperature average. And this, it's worth noting, I manually imported the functions underscore because Eclipse won't auto import that for me. Uh, the reason is because functions is an object and not another package with stuff inside of it, Eclipse isn't set up to, to find that. Okay, so let's go ahead and show that, and I will run this. And then we'll, while it's running, uh, we'll go ahead and start writing the code for the next step, which is this should give me an average temperature per station. Now I need to join that together with the station's data to get our, um, our final joined data. So join data 2017 which is everything that we want to have. I'm going to take the station temps and I am going to join it with the stations on SID. Okay, so this should give us a different table. Uh, there we go. So here is our SID and our T average. Here are our stations. And when I join these together, I should get an SID followed by the average temperature, followed by a latitude, a longitude, and a name. And so if I were to show the join data, that's what I should see. OK. We'll just go ahead and run that while I talk about what our next steps will be. This is actually the final data that I want. Uh, now I just need to plot it up. And so we'll come back and the main thing that we're gonna have to deal with on the plotting it up is trying to get the data out of, uh, of this data frame. Um, we're used to RDDs. We can do a collect on data frames, <clears throat> but data frames only have rows. So we're going to pull things out in a slightly different way. You might also ask the question, is it safe to collect this data? And the answer, okay, so I'm actually doing a show up here on that describe. I'll probably get rid of this because... There we go. So this is the table that we are playing with. It has our average, it has our latitude, and it has our longitude, and those are the three values that we're going to plot. So we'll come back in our next video and we'll actually
pull those pieces of data out, get them into uh, just arrays on the client, and then do a plot from those.